everybody, it's Felaine and I wanted to share my design team project with you. This is the kit for the penny farthing from enchantmentscrapbooking.com and in the kit you would receive five 8x8 eight eight chipboards, the penny farthing, the seat, this is that little piece there, the clock and the clock face, the cobblestone, the lamp, the silhouette of the lady, and the silhouette of the man, which both of these will sit on top of the bike, like that. And so I finished my mini album. And instead of doing a flat mini album, I decided I wanted to do a piece that could stand up on its own and be displayed. Yes, and it is double sided, and I'll show you the details. So on the first page, you see that I've used the penny farthing, and I put this through my embossing folder, added some copper paint and some walnut ink to distress it up. And then I also added some, they look like bronze nail heads, but they're just a little embellishment that I got at Michael's. And then I used some Making Memories brads, and I put the same little nail head embellishment on the brad there. For the cobblestone, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I wanted it to look really old, like old stone. And so what I did was I painted it black and then I painted it brown in places. I cut out a few of the little stones here and replaced them with cork behind it. And then I added some Martha Stewart flocking and, and it was a bright green. It was way too bright. So I used some Lindy's um, Van Dyke Sepia Walnut on it and it turned out great. And then just added some more white. Uh, paint here and there and I'm really happy with the way that, that turned out. This is a Making Memories felt die cut piece that I have used and this is a thickers that I had painted the copper color. This is an acetate sheet which is your pocket and it says the sun Friday April 24th 1806. So my grandfather would have been two weeks old then. I think that's kind of cool. And the little flowers are also from EnchantmentScrapbooking.com. And so your little acetate spot here creates your pocket. And this is a tag that Teresa had die cut for me and sent along some rub-ons. And so I used those rub-ons for this as well as some Tim Holtz stamps and created a little ticket. And then on the back it's some Seven Gypsies paper and some of that distress tape. You, it's not going to show up on camera but it actually has places that are missing like distress. The next page I wanted it to appear as if the gentleman and the lady were walking down the street so I started with some glitz paper in the background this is a portion of the gate from the twilight paper line this is also the cobblestone, but it's created from the same paper as on the front cover, and I just added some Lindy's to make it look a little muddy. His foot is right there, and I've added some detail paint to that. I separated these two with pop dots, added some facial features, some detail to her hair, cut out her hat with printery paper, cut up one of the little blooms that she had given me and added some cheesecloth to create a flower in her hair, the clock piece I painted black and then added three different colors of Lindy's to it to give it a patina almost. And I also used some white dauber paint and Lindy's it again. I also added some detail to his coat and to his hat to stand out a little bit. For her dress, I used a ton of Recollections flowers, glued each one in place, and then added little distress stickles in the antique linen color to add a little sparkle, just for fun. Another one of Teresa's flowers from her store, and a piece I cut out from Prima Printery. A little tag that I created from the chipboard tag that she had sent, and this is Printery Paper Technique Tuesday stamp on both sides. 
I was creating a little journaling spot there. For the third page, I wanted it to appear as if it was a hat shop because of this paper. This is glitz paper. So I used a piece of foam core up here at the top and created a, a valance, covered it in cork, and then put the lace on there. This is some more of the glitz paper that I used to make a photo mat, and this was also a die cut from the paper line, and just a little journaling tag. There's some Prima fleur-de-lis and pearls, a filigree piece, metal piece that I had in my stash, one of Teresa's gardenias, a bit of lace, and a cameo that she had sent along with some Prima lace and some Recollections bling. Now this is by far my favorite page out of the book. For the background I used some glitz paper and these are made out of cork, sticky back cork, and I cut them three quarter inches wide, added some white paint or anti- I think I do believe it was antique linen paint. Let that dry, went over it with the black soot and the walnut ink, and then once that was dry I went over it with white again. I used the same paper to create a photo mat. This is a Prima cornice piece and folded the glitz paper to create a window box and all of these flowers here are Teresa's flowers and inside I put a piece of foam core for the flowers to stick into. I just added a few more bricks. For the lamp I painted it black, distressed it, and then used the Ranger sticky back metal tape and went over it with my walnut hollow distress tool for foiling and a little alcohol ink to give it a golden glow. For the second side I wanted it to be more for your memorabilia, your pictures, etc. So I created a pocket here out of a glassine bag and just put a little moments tag there from my mind's eye. This is graphic 45 with a couple of making memory spreads. Another pocket here with some lace. One of my grandmother's buttons out of my button jar. One of Teresa's gardenias. A few more of her rosebuds. A little ticket that she had included in my kit. And a little metal finding that I found at Michael's along with a bit of lace. This page I used the other half of the acetate and so I created a pocket there, added a glassine bag that I had stamped on for an extra pocket. This was part of a paper mache ornament that I had picked up at Michael's. I covered it in the glitz paper, put a piece of acetate in there for a picture so you can just slide your picture on there and slide it in and this is a little baby envelope and I created a bifold to go inside for journaling along with some Prima lace on the bottom. For this page I wanted to create a chalkboard so I painted the chipboard with chalkboard three coats as it says in the instructions cut out the glitz paper as a window added a little bit of baby rickrack and these flowers die cuts right here were flower die cuts that Teresa had sent in my kit and so I just created a little baby flower recollections little brad and a sticker that I had in my stash pile. The last page is some glitz paper. I used the paper again to create a pocket, folded it down, added a little bit of Prima lace right here, just a tiny piece that I cut off, and I'm making memories pearl brad. Added some more Prima lace here to soften it a little bit. The die cut is from my mind's eye. It's one that's been in my stash. I found one more of my lace butterflies. I was so happy to have found that, and that is the last one. And then just a little bit of bloomers with some very antique lace inside. So I can stand up like that. I really, really love how this turned out. Teresa has many things in her store to create with. You should check it out. It's enchantmentscrapbooking.com. And thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.